you know, you mentioned something about motivation in what you just said. Now, you go around the world, meet, meet a lot of people, the book that we also have, uh, Motivational Moments, best of, Mufti Menk, yeah? based on, best of Mufti Menk as well. Now, how, why did you get into that sector? Like, why did you concentrate on motivation? In, motivation. Very interesting question. So there are a million and one scholars out there, all of them doing tremendous work, all of them, mashallah, doing a lot of goodness, but each one is specialized in something knowingly or unknowingly. Some of them are teaching in the, in the school, some of them in the university, some of them in the madrasas, some of them are imams, some of them are freelance, some of them are in the hospital, some of them are wherever else they may be. And a lot of them are on the internet today and each one specializes in different subjects and different topics just like you have school teachers. And what I found over, over time is that there is so much pressure across the globe on the, on the young Muslim in most countries, tremendous pressure on them regarding their faith. Someone needs to help them maintain that identity in a beautiful way that motivates them. Tonight we spoke, if, if we haven't motivated you to be steadfast and made you feel that identity of yours as a Muslim, we've failed. The whole aim of a motivational evening is to motivate you to remain on your deen, to be, to be hopeful about your Lord, because there is hopelessness across the globe. Who is dealing with it? Who is there to make a weak Muslim who is struggling with his or her faith to stay on the deen and don't give up because a lot are giving up. So I thought of it and I said, well, you know what? I don't want to say no one's doing it, but perhaps I haven't seen many doing it. I want to do it on a large scale and I don't care if someone says you're, you're not teaching this and you're not teaching that. I leave it for you, brother. I leave it for you. you. The subject you want me to teach, you can teach it. Or the others are already teaching it. Come, let's see who's doing what I'm doing. You'll find very few. But mashallah, it's picking up. So we, we need to save drowning souls by diving into the ocean and helping them, convincing them to get hold of this beautiful life vest that we've just thrown at them. That's what motivation is all about. Otherwise, they would, my children, your children, young boys and girls who are here this evening, they could be struggling with their faith. What are you going to do? If you want to make them feel so non-Muslim, you would, and they probably would disappear. And they have other things that they could do that would, that would make them temporarily happy because they knew no better. Are you prepared as a father figure, as a senior, as an uncle to them, as an elder brother to them, to talk to them, to say, Allah loves you. Come, come, come this way. Allahu Akbar. That's where the motivation comes from. And that's why I don't mind being called a scholar, motivational speaker. Hey, it's okay. And I don't mind people attacking me that you don't teach this subject and that subject. We have, we have done, we shall do. We might not name it the way you're naming it, but it is included in what we're doing if, you, if only you're interested in listening long term. So we do address the subjects, but in our own unique way after studying what exactly needs to be done. So I'm not belittling in any way what others are doing, but they shouldn't belittle what we're doing as well. I mean, Jazakallah Khair Sheikh.